All right, crazy people of the interwebs. Here we are, third video. Um, this video is gonna be a continuation of the last video where we looked at our main drilling screen here. Uh, nothing's happening because we're currently automatic rod changing is happening, which is a good thing. And yes, as we know from the last video, we covered rotation pressure, we covered percussion, we covered the damper, the depth counter, our air, our lubrication, our dust collector, and our water injection. So, what we're gonna to do today is cover probably these two next screens in here. So, how do we change our screens? Quite simply, with our little knob here, we can rotate it, we can press it to click it, and we've got a little return button there. That's how we navigate. So. Let us navigate to the next screen. All right, this is our inclimeter, or angle indication, or as we like to call it, the angle of the dangle. So, what this means is a couple of things. So as you can sort of tell, we're not drilling a perfectly vertical hole here. The hole is actually at 10 degrees on the side, sort of, like Beyonce to the left, to the left. Because we're aiming it out over there somewhere. So how do we get that aim? Well, our top screen here will be our, what we call our hitch. So if our rod's perfectly vertical, it'll be our forwards and backwards. And then the next one underneath there will be our roll, which will be our left and right. And that obviously will tell us how far we've got to move to get it where we want it. Now this here is our GPS. And this GPS works in sync with what we call an aim device, which is our little bird cage up here. So how this puppy works is we have our little arrow there and our little crosshairs there. So what we can do is we actually, we can look through that sort of, those iron sights there, and we can say, right, I wanna drill a hole at, for example, 10 degrees, going that way, and then our uh, inclimeter here will actually, with our little line that's moving there, that line will actually go wherever and then we simply move the mass in position until that line comes to the center. And then that's our, basically how we aim, how we aim the mast. Um, holes get drilled at different angles for different reasons. Uh, I'm not gonna go into all that in this video because I'll be here forever. Um, and how do I know what angle to drill it at? Um, all these, red cones here, they're all in holes. So I don't decide where the holes go. That is the job of whoever designs the drill pattern. So someone with different knowledge to me comes along and says, right, we need to put holes at this distance, distance apart and at this angle, at this depth. And they write all that into a paper map. And wherever there they put a dot, I drill a hole and they'll tell me what angle to drill it at, etc., etc. So that's basically what that does. Moving across to our next screen. And this one, this screen's pretty self-explanatory. So fuel gauge, engine RPM. Um, the rig holds about, I think, I think these are about a 300 liter fuel tank, 400 liter tank, something like that. Um, engine RPM, the engine of this thing is a Caterpillar C9. So it's a nine liter straight six fully sick turbo diesel. Um, that's our coolant temperature, hydraulic oil temperature. That is the temperature of the compressor. Obviously we blow air down the hole constantly while we're drilling, so we have a compressor on board. And that is the outside air temperature. I'm refreshing 14 degrees today. Um, what else can we cover here? This screen, obviously it's telling us temperatures and stuff, right? Um, 
if the engine temp gets too high, it'll show up on here and we'll get warning lights in the bottom corner saying, hey, you're over overheating. Same thing for the hydraulic oil. Same if the compressor gets too high. I think the compressor on these come up with a high temp warning at 100, 115 degrees. Um, if your compressor's overheating, it could be because it's a really stupid hot day or because your cooler packs are full of dirt or it could be that your compressor's actually got barely any oil in it, which is not cool. So they're little things to look out for. Uh, we've got engine load as a percentage, intake air pressure, so how much boost. That is our current fuel consumption, which is pretty standard for this type of ground. That is our tramming speed. So these do have sort of a slow tram, or a low tram and a high tram, or a slow and a fast. Uh, if we were in a tramming mode, we could press our little turtle there, and that sort of will turn into a rabbit, and this drill rig will boogie along at a mind-boggling speed of about four kilometers an hour, which is the top speed of this thing, because we are, this is on tracks. This is a track machine, We're not on wheels. This is on tracks. Uh, what else we got? Engine oil pressure, intake air temperature, battery voltage, or sort of alternator voltage, and that is our fuel pressure. So that's those two screens pretty much covered. There's nothing you can really do in this screen as such. Um, with our first screen here, obviously we can change our air, our suction, and our water injection. We can change our depth, and we can adjust all these pressures. So there's things that we can do there. Same for this screen, um, where we point our little bird cage will change these numbers, it'll change all this, and we can ask for specific angles. But in here, there's nothing you can really do. It just, you just read and learn, and this is how the rig talks to you, and you listen. Um, that's about it, really. So, that's all we're gonna cover for this video. Next, we'll have a look at our logs. We might make a start into settings. That's a really big menu. You can you can get in there and mess a lot of stuff up in there. And also that's sort of further rig settings. Um, yeah, while we're here, you may notice some, some lights down the bottom here. So that's the picture of a drill bit. That's what a drill bit roughly looks like. I'll get one in my hand and show you in another video. But basically, if you see a drill bit, that means that you're in a drilling mode. So this drill has only two joysticks, one there and one there. And what those joysticks do will determine what mode you're in, which can be selected here. So we have a positioning mode, which simply only moves the boom and the mast. We then have a drilling mode, which is for when you're drilling, a tramming mode for when you wanna move the machine or tram. And the final one is actually a remote function. So these rigs do come with a set of, like a remote control box as an optional extra, and you can actually operate the rig remotely without being in it. So that's all I wanna cover for this video. Obviously we've hit the bottom of this hole, so I've gotta drill another one. And yeah, we'll see you in the next video.